Greetings everyone, Ajon here with another Dawn of War 2 replay. It's on the south side as the Tyranid player, and now with the snow music and Tyranid, uh, what's it called, announcer. It's gonna be a bit of a pain in my opinion. And it's on the north side as the warp uh, spider Exarch, we have Zero. Tano versus Zero. Lecter Alpha versus Warp Spider. Both mobility, that's for sure. Something about sound bug? We had the Warp Spider and now being engaged by the Hormagon. And overall, the Warp Spider was in a good position. We got the standard build order of two Termagons. We got the Howling Banshees out. But getting picked off by the uh, Lictor Alpha. One model down. Very nice little. That's why I really don't like the announcer for the Tyranids. Howling Benches cannot uh, stand up to look to Alpha. Two squads of uh, a squad of Hormagont and Termagants in the center. Here's a squad of Termagants. Over on the right side, you have the Guardian Squad. And going for a Ranger Squad. Interesting. War Spire does warp on in and try and gauge the Termagants in melee. Overall, there's it's going to be overwhelmed by these forces. Hormagons now engaging a Warp Spider in melee. The Warp Spider does teleport. We do have two generators here and only the lockdown point over here. The Warp Spider is the same. He's doing some damage. Look, the Alpha is out of energy. Does get a nice hit there. And now uh, here's the Hormagons trying to deal with this point, but they're not going to be all too effective, honestly. Does this did do quite a bit of damage, but he could quickly repair it up if he so chooses. With Alpha decapping the point, and the Howling Banshee should be able to get a good hit, but he does decap the point immediately retreats. Down south, we do got the Termagants and the Hormagants reinforcing. And there is a double capture in favor of the Tyranid player. Devastator, not Devastator, Guardian Weapon Team is set on up to support the Rangers. And the Warp Spider is retreating on back because he has very little health. Howling Bages do get spotted. Guardian Weapon Team repositions the gauge this squad of Hormagons. Look to Alpha, still stealth right here, and may jump in soon ish. Hormagons and Termagons are all on this flank. The Guardian Weapon Team is not set up in the correct uh, direction. And we have the Power Node and the Silas sustaining quite a bit of damage. Helen Bates is rotating over. Guardian Weapon Team has not cha changed direction. Rangers do find a shot. And this point's actually being decaptured. There is a power gener generator being built. And now the Warp Spider is sending a bit of damage. Guardian Weapon Team and the Rangers have repositioned. Master trick here by the tiered player. Does stop the power income for a moment. And the Lifted Alpha is decapturing the requisition point. Rekindle our ancient glory. Helen Banch is going to hunt down the Lifted. Any upgrades? No upgrades. 
activates an either person and does grab one of the Howling Banshees as they try to capture that point. Does escape capture, activates a scream, and the look the Alpha will fall back. War Brood now engaging in melee and have been built, and we also have a Ravenger Brood out on the field. Ranger is trying to run away. Does get a nice knockback there. But does lose one of the Ranger models in season four retreat. There is a Guardian's weapon team. A little bit out arc. Ravenger's going to teleport forward. Guardians are on the retreat path. Attack could throw a plasma grenade. But it looks like these point will be seized quite quickly, though it is pretty close over here. And his forces are so largely undamaged. Plasma grenade will likely be thrown soon. Kind of does get a nice uh, shout off suppressing the warrior group. Ravager Alpha, however, and the warrior group will quickly make mince of the Howling Banshees. Guardian team now trying to suppress away. Guardian Weapon team is now trying to suppress the units. One Jera does go down. The point itself may be deactivated. Howling Banshees not full, fully reinforced, but not fully healed. Warp Strider trying to tie up the Ravagers in melee. And he may need to teleport away. Does get a nice knockback there from the Rangers. And look, the Alpha will capture the central VP. Tier 2 being researched by the Eldari the player and the Tyranid we player. Both these squads of uh, Terminal Gods are moving forward. It's going to support the Warrior Brood. Rangers are forced on back, but there is the weapon team here. Ravagers are likely going to teleport forward. Yes, they will teleport forward. Immediate retreat. We may see knocked back here by the Ranger squad. Oh, on the left, right side, we do have the Guardians, but they're going to be way outnumbered. Banshee's way outnumbered. I don't even know if they'll get out of this alive. So the three models may just barely get out of there. Two models. Guardian Weapon Queen trying to set on up. Grab just do not teleport forward. We'll have a fight between the Warp Spider and the Lictor. Warp Spider does have a bit more health. The Lictor is closing distance and need to teleport away into the structure. We will see a Warp Spider squad to support the Warp Spider. Take a quick look at the heroes. War Spider has no upgrades, nor does it look to Alpha. I heard biological upgrades, so something's being upgraded. Maybe it's the Warrior Brood. Yeah, the Warrior Brood being upgraded with the Adrenal Glands. The Adrenal Glands will, of course, increase the health by 65%, melee skill by 10, upgrades melee attack for. I think it's. Yeah, now it classifies like the anti vehicle attack. The reinforcement cost is increased by 15 divided by 3. Nearby Tyrants had the health increased by 400, so it has better synapse, but it does have better make sure you don't lose these models. 15 divided by 3, I think that's actually 15 requisition and 3 energy. Warp Spiders have been upgraded with the aspect of the Warp Spider. Plasma Grenade is thrown. No, that's the 
it grab grenade. Horse riders do teleport back. The XR is not teleporting away. Guardians, Guardian with keep trying to go for a flank. Guardians is falling back as well. Howling Banshees are still in the thick of it, forcing back the rest of the squads. Still some of the Hormogons, but they will have not stand up to the Howling Banshees. Or Spider, uh. As for the Warp Spider, enables the Haywire Grenade, does 60 melter damage, average speed by 6%, and rotation rate by 6%. And disable weapons of vehicles for 15 seconds. Also equips the squad Exarch with dual death sprinters, increasing the leader with more damage. Guardian Steam and Warp Spiders are here. The Hormagons will close this. And nice of slows from the Thermagons as well. You need to take a quick look at the Eight Grab Grenade. Eight Grab Grenade, which is temporarily in uh, Linear Scrabbits and a Ray of 7, disabling infantry and with wet weapon not bad. Starting web team not angled properly. Or spider being pursued, teleport backwards or forwards somewhere. Oh no, they're just straight up underground with the uh, enhanced missile foil. Alan Banshee's a more than likely fall back sooner rather than later. This is sending huge amounts of damage. We have a lot of ranged damage though. A falcon is being uh, brought on in. Just nice little poke damage, forcing his opponent back while min minimizing your own losses. Oh, he lost a Termagon? Uh, nope, they seem pretty healthy to me. Falcon is out on the field. Actually, that generator has not been built, nor the point reactivated. And deploying the shield generator not for the guardians, but for the warp spiders. Very nice. It looks like the warp spider Exarch is being upgraded with the entangling web. And we had the warlock upgrade for the guardian weapon uh guardian uh squad. And there goes the warp spider. Over here, we do got the webway. Falcon is here, Guardians are here, Warp Spires are here. There's a lot of ranged damage coming out. It does decapture the point. The tickets are pretty similar as well. His left foot is. Constant capturing. We do have an upgrade coming out. Toxic cysts. Looked out for a course. Going to force them back. I can't really contend with two of those squads. And the Halloween Badges will go ahead and recapture the point. Guardian Weapon Team. He hasn't have been having that in the correct position for quite a many battles to say the least and though oh i didn't realize he's at tier three with the carnifex now upgraded the venom cannon capillary tower is now up over here we got the hormogons force on back part of what the team is currently trying to suppress this group falcon is here so the venom cannon is going to be very problematic the artifacts in general is going to be very problematic. 
gets a good hit onto the Rangers. Does actually get a stealth field as well. Halibut does stealth uh, suppress the entire group there. Ravagers are teleported into the are in the underground once again, and Rippers have been spawned down. Warp Spider has been rebuilt, throws down a nice anti grab grenade. Doesn't do any damage, but still nice to have. I don't think it does any damage. Yep. And also see what boy did has been spotted. Oh, looks like Tyrannoform sounds like it's ready now. Halibut can try to rush on in, but they're going to be way outclassed. Does grab not the uh, leader, the leader's right here. Bright Lance is here into gaze the card effects. Those off that ability wipes out the uh Howling Bench, which was a very nice pick. Rages could pitch and knock back the lifter. But that Bright Lance gonna be very problematic. He needs to eliminate that, of course. Falcon and the Guardians are moving on along the right side. And looks like the Lift Alpha's force back didn't get any models of the Bright Lance itself. The DP situation is very, very similar to say the least. Hormogons will close the distance on the Guardian Squad, throws a plasma grenade. The plasma grenade does kill one of its own models, but it's largely effective though. Warp Spider is getting hit. He could use one of his abilities. Let's throw out the immobilization grenade. And the Guardian, weapon, the Guardian squad is a bit spread out. Can't really uh, get away from melee. Plus, when the models are still not under his effect. Termogons will decapture the central VPs, and the Warp Spider is seeing quite a bit of fire. Warp Spider's here. It looks like they had a chain delayed action of teleporting. He does grab the Exarch there. Uh, what exactly has happened? Did the Warp Spider go down again? It looks like we have the Ravagers going down underground once again. And these Hormogons are getting ripped apart. Hormogons, I should say. The Guardian looks like the Warp Spiders, the Guardian Buffet Team, and the Rangers are all falling back. Closing distance, the warp spider does has about half health, but does teleport away. There's another warp spider that's being poured on now. Not designed to pick up, and we're going to rely on the bright lance in order to gauge the uh, card effects. Nice dodge there. Another webway is coming on out as well. Both warp stars are here. The other one is currently unupgraded. Here comes a Bright Lance, but the Carnifex is staying well away. Over here, you do have the Ravengers. Without the Howling Banshees, you can't really rush in against the Ravengers. Four Spiders are pushing up forward. This Carnifex is still very much a problem. 
and does get uh, entangled there by the warp spider. Teleport towards the Carnifex. Does get a nice hit there, and with the uh, haywire grenades as well. Does throw a grab grenade, but looks like he only gets a, a model too. Warp Spider is sustaining quite a bit of damage down to one third health. Bright Lance aiming for wrong targets, and looks though Warp Spider is falling back. Rangers are trying to get away. They could potentially jump inside the Falcon. And Warp Spider is completely stealthy and gets revealed. And they're just taking, be taken to see pot shots. Does get uh, hit there by a grenade. Warp Spiders are now engaging the Hormagons, ripping them apart. That was reinforced right there. Loski is not uh, satisfied with the Venom Cannon on the Carnifex. But the Alpha's running on board, has a lot of upgrades on there. The Lone Hunter and the Adrenoblurant. Great hit there by the Carnifex on the, on the artillery ability. But the Guardians are here for repairs. And overall, the Eldar players are doing a great job of maintaining max range. Guardian Weapon Team is here. We're seeing quite a bit of damage from the Chronogons. Multiple good hits onto the Carnifex, but he's now in melee range. And activates that ability and rolls a miss. But does take out the Falcon. He's throwing everything at it. He needs to put Brightlands back over there. It is currently snared by the, uh, uh, what's it called? The Haywire Grenade. Drivers do come up. We do have the Swarm Lord now out on the field. Ooh, and ripped apart that, uh, Warp Spider. He gets a rapidly coming down against the Eldari player. Does throw down the grab grenade with the Warp Spider Exarch. But he will not last very long versus Swarm Lord. And we do got what appears to be a lot of webways being deployed out. As well as the uh the terraform ability. Bright Lance will have a sniff amount of trouble versus the Swarm Lord. And I think it's more or less the end of the game. So it's just sort of dancing around for some reason. Is he trying to kill his own Swarm Lord? I don't know what's going on. Loose of the Carnifex, but looks like that's the end of the game. A weird ending to the game. Either way, this is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.